anything with the 2014 Toyota Tundra. Toyota, let's go places. And welcome to Foothill Thunder on Foothill 7 TV. We're here at Placerville Speedway tonight for championship point race number five in the 2014 Jackson Rancheria Casino Resort Championship season. A packed pit area and full stands here once again at the Elder Auto County Fairgrounds. 27 sprint cars on hand here tonight. Corey Eliason has already set quick time in qualifying. We've got 28 visiting NorCal Dwarf cars. Always exciting here at Placerville. We've got 10 pier stocks on hand, 15 late models, and we are ready to go racing. And they're going to bring you all the action here on Foothill 7 TV for this episode of Foothill Thunder, powered by Toyota. Going green out of turn four. And trouble in turn two. And trouble in turn four. Or the back stretch. You got snow and land together in turn two. Some heavy suspension damage likely there. And then you got Steve Dill going upside down. Just at the tail end of the backstretch. Some heavy suspension damage likely there. And then you got Steve Dill going upside down just at the tail end of the backstretch. And you can see the rear axle breaking loose in that car too. So I don't know if that what kicked him upside down, but definitely got some damage at both ends of the backstretch right now. Red flag is out. And four cars managed to drive around the upside down car, even though the red flag's out, which ironic, but driver already talking to the officials, so good news from Peterson ride. Matt Peterson, okay. They upright the 37. is out one final lap for the 21 of Wiesa to pick up the win followed by the second of Benson as they go into the final set of turns but let's watch this between McGarra and Forsberg final turn final time where's it going to be there Wies picks up the win of Benson in second place McGarra third Jay Norton leads lap number one. Ray Trimble running in second place now as he gets underneath the 66 of England. Two top runners starting to pull away a little bit. Jason England's got his hands full. He's got the two Team McKelly cars right behind him. Kid McKelly in the 96A closing in on the 66 of England now. Now we got a battle for the lead. Trimble has gone to the high side. Powers out of turn four into the lead. Three laps complete, halfway home. Ray Trimble is your brand new leader. Jay Norton in second place, Jason England third, Ken McKelly fourth, Charlie Mars rounding out the top five. And big crash here on the front stretch. 
55, Curtis Craig upside down. So with a lap in the book going on two, Andy Gregg's your early leader. Oh, trouble in turns three and four. Herman Klein spins around. He gets tagged by the 57 of Butler. Keeps it going. But we got the 88 of Cohen Shaw caught up in it, spinning around in turn four. Brings out the yellow. Welcome to no man's land. It's a place you've been before, but it's not on any map. So go out there, lose yourself find the truth. We're all born wild. Let's keep it that way. The 2014 Forerunner. Toyota. Let's go places. Hi, I'm Kent Brown, professional bass angler and the host of the Ultimate Bass Radio Show. Thompson's Toyota here in Placerville, they understand the outdoorsman. They have a full selection of Tundras, Tacomas, Sequoias. Stop by and visit them, 140 40 Road, up here in Placerville, or you can buy it right online at thompsonstoyota.com. Thompson's Toyota and Thompson's Auto and Truck Centers have been my choice for my vehicles for over 20 years. Let them put you in one and get you on the water. So green flag flies, Tom Tilford jumps out in the early lead. Tom Tilford working his way around McKelly. So, Ken McKelly now in the middle of the two leaders. Matt McKelly gets past Dad. Tilford's going to see the white flag one lap from now, one lap away from that elusive feature event victory in the limited late mile. He's got multiple wins in pure stock competition at the Speedway and championships in both. Final backstretch drive, final turn, final time. Here he comes out of Citrus Heights. The former pure stock and current defending late model champion Tom Tilford picks up his first limited late model victory here tonight, holding off Matt McKelly to the line. Jason England in the 66 finishes in third place.
And the green flag is out with a pack of hungry dwarfs all fighting for position down the backstretch into turns three and four. And Sean Jones with a slide job on Kevin Bender. Bender answers back. It's your NorCal Dwarf cars here at Placerville. Always exciting on the bull ring. Green flag is in the air. A full field of NorCal Dwarf cars here tonight. 20 cars in competition. And they're still racing side by side with one lap in the book. One lap down, and yellow flag comes out, but we got a dwarf train in turns one and two. Four dwarfs. And troubles continue in turn two. And one line down the back stretch. Wild ride down the back stretch. Ryan Winter with a wild ride. And Sean Jones quickly there as well. This is how NorCal Dwarf cars roll. All those guys concerned about him. And that right there is definitely good to see some concerns as that's one of the ugliest dwarf car wrecks we've ever seen here at Placerville. And good to see Ryan Winter up and out of that car. And there's the white flag. Kevin Bender in trouble off turns one and two, your leader. What a costly mistake for Kevin Bender here tonight. He falls off the track surface and turns one and two and is forced to go up the pit ramp. And to the pit area. So Kevin Bender leads all the laps, but the most important one here tonight. And Sean, second place tonight for most of the race, first place when the lap really counted. And kind of a surprise, I'm sure, for you to see Kevin Bender do what he does. He normally doesn't do that. And you just capitalized being, that's the right place, right time. Nothing more you can really say there. Yeah, well, I took the lead and spun out on my own and went from 24th to first again. So <laughs> he was hauling ass. I, I don't think it would have caught him. But, you know, it is what it is. <laughs> Came back. You guys always put on a good show here. It seems like you have a, a setup to run the high line here at Placerville. So does Kevin. Both of you have that dialed in, and you guys make it exciting. And what a car count, 28 cars. I, I know that's great to see as a club, but as a driver, it's probably you got to have your game on. Yeah. You know, it's always good to have a lot of car, car, or car count. And, and, you know, what else can you say? It's just 30 cars. To be in top of 30 cars is pretty cool. All right. Well, congratulations. I know it's chilly out here. Thanks for coming out and joining us. We'll see you here in a few weeks. NorCal Dwarf Car winner, Sean Jones.
Matt Tilford. Getting around the 0-1-D, 13 laps are down. So Tilford, now your leader. And Tilford picks up the win. Brotherly love this year. If we can get Matt Tilford over here as well and get them together because we kind of talked earlier today. Your mom was talking on Facebook about what it would mean. You've had many mom's Mother's Days with somebody in Victory Lane, but you got both of them here tonight. And man, awesome job. I know this means a lot for Tom Tilford to win here. We know who you're thinking about. And um, by the way, you were driving out there tonight, he was with you. So it's got to feel good to get the late model win out of your way. <laughs> it feels uh, it feels awesome. I don't even know uh, how how to explain how it feels. Uh, this one's for for Uncle Donnie, man. <laughs> He's been supporting us for a long time, telling us some tricks, and it just seemed like uh, I didn't know if I'd ever be able to to do it in the late model. We tried so hard and won races in the pure stock, but uh, this one's for Uncle Donnie for sure. Um, definitely happy Mother's Day, my mom, my wife. My family's gone through so much to get this late model in Victory Circle, man. Um, my cousin Nate, brothers Matt and John, my dad. Um, I mean, even my kids got to sacrifice some time to get this car out here. Um, I got to thank my sponsors, Domco Plumbing, MTFX Graphics, Ron Tilford Electrical, Valley Tire and Wheel, Curator Security. Um, <laughs> there's just so many people that, uh, that helped us out. And I can't believe it actually happened. It's like a, a big weight's been lifted off my shoulder, man. All right, well, you're running strong. And you got to watch your brother race also after that race. And he did a great job charging up to the field from the third row, too. And it's got to feel good to win here together. For this lady that gave birth to you both and a Mother's Day Eve. So, uh, Matt, what a job. I, I know it means as much as it does to him. This probably feels like your first win being the one for Donnie. Yeah, it's definitely uh, nice to be back up here. You know, I've told myself for years, ever since 2006, John and Tommy both got up here. I said, man, that is the coolest feeling. I would love to do it as a driver. And now tonight, I get to do it with Tommy. I mean, this was just a, a great night. Um, I drove my heart out. You know, we went through a lot after totaling that car back in Marysville in October. And we, we put it all together. You know, the whole family, like Tommy said, we all just got together and we did it. Um, you know, I got to thank all the sponsors, Tomco Plumbing, Valley Tire and Wheel, Curator Security, MTFX Graphics, everybody that helped out on that car, Brian Bartholomew, a big sponsor, Price Racing for doing all the work. I mean, if it wasn't for those guys, that car wouldn't exist anymore. So it was good to get out here. The first couple weeks we had uh, some bad luck. I blew up a rear end the first race out last week, got up into the front and was leading the race and, you know, I ended up losing a steering box. and. I guess it's all just meant for it to be tonight so we can both be out here and win our circle together, you know, with the whole family. It's awesome. I got to thank also my wife, my dad. I mean, he was over there helping me do everything on Tuesday. Then he goes over and helps Tommy on Wednesday. And then on Friday, loading up cars. I mean, it's, it's a lot of stress for him, and he pulls through and does it. And, you know, I got to thank all of them a lot. All right. Is this the first time two brothers, you guys have won for mom? Or did you and John do it before? You and John did it before, so you, you jumped in. So it's been across the board now. Say so congratulations for, we can say it as the Tilford brothers tonight. I think it's appropriate. So congratulations, guys. Celebrate. Have a good Mother's Day. It started early. Green flag flies. It's Justin Sanders jumping out in the early lead. Forsberg up to 14th as we bring out the yellow. Mike's Hard Lemonade number 14, the 85 CJ Humphreys. Tangle in turns one and two to bring out the yellow.
And trouble for Justin Johnson brings it to a stop outside of turn four. And at the same time, the 35 of Joey McGeer spins it around to a stop outside of turn two. Yellow flag flies once again. We've got a side panel here on the front stretch that's come off one of the cars. So some debris here on the front stretch. It's going to bring out the yellow 17 laps complete. And that is the side panel off the X1 of Forsberg. And that's definitely not going to help things out for him for the remainder of this race either. He's defending track champion having his battles here tonight. Twenty one laps complete. And we've got a yellow flag spinning a stall high side of turn four. Checkered flag, Justin Sanders takes home win number three. Three in a row at Placerville tonight. It's Charlie Kango with a career best second place here tonight as well. Colby Weiss in the second position. Four, Greg DeKaris in fourth. 27, Corey Elias and rounding out the top five. Race fans, let's hear it. Three in a row for Justin Sanders. Great job by this young man. Three in a row at Placerville. A year last year, you struggled to get victory lane, wanted to do it so bad. What a points night. Andy having his troubles. You guys are going to have a battle for this championship. You know he'll rally back up in the middle of the year, but you got a good, strong lead going on. And man, what momentum. It's got to feel good, man. Yeah, um, I mean, even last year, I mean, we were carrying the momentum when I was with Clayton Snow, and then I came to Rudy, and. Uh, Took us a little while to get going, but uh, once we, uh, you know, found the sweet spot, this is actually a brand new car, uh, not even the car I ran the last two weeks, and uh, it just goes to show you when you get a good combination, a good car owner, a good crew, good guy tuning the motors, and I guess I'm decent behind the wheel, you can, uh, I guess you can make anything happen, and I'm just uh, glad to win again. So last week, after you left last week, you're thinking you have a chance to make it two, three in a row. It's got to be driving you nuts this week. You might be able to make it four in a row next week, and man, that'll give you some men. I'm going into Memorial Day weekend. Yeah, I told uh, Greg DeCares when I got here today I was going to try to pull a Greg DeCares and get a get three in a row. I mean, uh, it's just it's great. I mean, this car was on a rail tonight. I mean, uh, all I had to do was hit the bottom and uh, in uh, one and two and just uh, make sure I hit the top right in three and four. And uh, we didn't even catch no lap traffic, so it was all up to me not to make any mistakes. All right, Justin Sanders, we're going to let him celebrate with the crew. It's cold out here for this guy. What a job. We'll see you here next Saturday night. Congratulations. Well, a great night here at Placerville Speedway Championship Point Race number five. Uh, one of the big moments tonight, both Tom Tilford and Matt Tilford winning on Mother's Day Eve, a great racing family. And earlier in the afternoon, their mom had actually said what a great gift it'd be to, to have them both win together again on Mother's Day Eve. And um, somewhat of an emotional victory for both of those drivers. It's the first win for both of them since the passing of their uncle, Donnie Tilford, who was a legend with this family and helped them all. Tom Tilford leading every lap of the limited late model feature event, holding off the hard charges of former champion Matt McKelly for the win. And then Matt Tilford charging up from a couple rows in the field to win his first feature event in the Pure Stocks as well tonight. So, biggest news tonight again, win streak continues for Justin Sanders here at Placerville. His third consecutive victory in the wing sprint cars. The young man started out the season saying he was going to give Placerville a run for its money when it came to the championship, and now he's won three in a row. His closest contender for the championship, Andy Forsberg, your defending track champion, started deep in the field tonight. He started 17th. He finished back there with damage and mechanical woes throughout the night. So Justin Sanders definitely making a statement early in the season that he is serious when it comes to competing for the championship at this quarter mile. The visiting NorCal Dwarf Cars, 28 of those on hand here tonight. They certainly had their troubles in the A feature. Had one of them actually go upside down in a pretty wild crash. And he was okay with Ryan Winter climbing out of the wreckage in that one. But Sean Jones hung out in second place late in the race, charged all the way up from 24th to get there and right place at the right time for that driver as the leader. Kevin Bender fell off the track surface, has slipped up over turns one and two on the last lap, and Sean Jones stealing the win as Kevin Bender went from here to zero in that one single move. And that wrapped it up here at Placerville tonight for championship point race number five. 
and we'll bring you all the action of the upcoming events here at Placerville Speedway on Foothill 7 TV. Thanks for watching Foothill Thunder powered by Toyota. Check out Foothill 7 TV online, foothill7tv.com. For all the information here at Placerville Speedway, you can check them out online at placervillespeedway.com for upcoming updated standings, championship point standings, results, everything. Thank you for joining us on Foothill 7 TV and Foothill Thunder. Every piece of sheet metal, every line and curve, every inch of polished chrome, every stitch, knob, and button, reforged, recrafted, redesigned. The 2014 Toyota Tundra. Visit your Toyota dealer today for a test drive and special offers. Toyota, let's go places.